Here with the Chris David Show, our duty is to deliver informative content. Our Dollar in a Dream series highlights Black entrepreneurs and creatives who are making a difference in our community. This episode features DeAndrea Bright, founder and CEO of Pillow Script. In 2021, our next guest's passion for home decor birthed the creation of Pillow Script, the creative and unique pillows taking over social media as well as your local target. DeAndrea Bright, founder and CEO of Pillow Script, is here on the Chris David Show to share her journey to building one of the largest Black women owned home decor brands. Let's give a warm Chris David Show welcome to Mrs. DeAndrea Bright. Hi, thank you welcome, so much DeAndrea. for having me. Thank oh, you're you so, so welcome. much. You're I'm so, so excited welcome. to be here. I'm excited to have you, and I'm and I'm so glad that you agreed to do the show sight unseen. Like that's huge to me. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank thank you for coming on. Um, now I really like to get to know my guests. So where are you from originally? I'm from, from Athens, Georgia. You may have heard of it, uh, home of the Georgia Bulldogs. But I've been living in Atlanta for most of my life. Well, listen, shout out to Atlanta, shout out to Athens, shout out to the whole perimeter, 285, <laughs> everybody, shout out to everybody okay. down there. Um, <laughs> where'd you go to school? Did you go to, did you go there? Uh, I did. I went to my first, first year, I went to uh, Morris Brown College, which is uh, HBCU. Um, I was there for a year and then I transferred to Georgia State University. Nice. I did not finish them. school. I did okay. not finish school, but you know. Uh, dreams can surpass going to school. You don't always have to go to school, you know. So, absolutely. I I wish I would have uh, done that too. No, no. Let, let me stop. I'm glad I I went to look, school. But I'm just I saying, look, sometimes I still, got, I still got the student loans though. So. We're not gonna listen. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about them. We look, man. I just I hope something changes with that. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah. I shoot. Me too. I've been paying yeah, on them for I'm so not. long, and I swear they don't move. I don't know what it is. They got to do something about that. Are you a sorrow, by the way? Did you, did you? I'm not, I, I did okay, not pledge. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I, I pledge for, for all of us. So. <laughs> so what like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a noob. I'm a Kappa. Okay. I'm a Kappa. So right. Shout out to all my noobs. Shout out to all my Kappas. I mean, it's, I don't know. I, I don't want to say, I was about to say, isn't it obvious, but you know, and then the, 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 the blanket is like right behind me. But, oh, okay. I see um, it now. <laughs> so, so tell us how you got the idea for Pillow Script. Um, it was crazy. I had, so I've always been a creative. I used to songwrite. I actually lived in New York for about six months when I was um, songwriting back in the day. Um, <laughs> so after leaving songwriting, um, because my passion for that just God took it away from me. Um, so I started working a job because, you know, the music industry is unstable um, when it comes to money, you know. Um, so I wanted stability. So I started working a job when I got back home to Atlanta and um, I just wanted stability. I wanted it. I was getting older and I was like, I want to go ahead and, you know, get my future uh, going. So I started working a job. Um, and I was there for, for a few years and it was just, I was just wondering when is God going to give me my creativity back? Because this ain't it. And I remember I just kept praying and praying about it. And one day a master class came into my email from Sarah Blakely. She's the founder of Spanx. Um, and her story was so incredible to me. I had heard it before. But she bootstrapped her company with five thousand dollars, and it's a billion dollar company today. Um, and it's founded in Atlanta, so it was just inspirational. And watching her master class of how she found her product, prototyped it, got it manufactured, all of that was just so inspirational. So it sparked uh creativity in me, and a few months later, um, Pillow Script came to me in a dream. We got to talk more about that. We, yeah. we, you definitely got to tell me about that, you know, because I say a lot, I say all the time that, you know, 
we are all connected to that world. You know, the, the, the world of the, I won't say the underworld, but the world of just, you know, that, that alternate reality of where we exist also, but where yeah. our dreams exist. And we're all able to tap into that and, and have those prophecies come into our life and, and fulfill us as we fulfill them. Um, what was that dream like that you had? I just remember, well, one of the things that Sarah taught in her master class is, is that um, our dreams, big dreams are all around us, right? It's just paying attention to your surroundings and expecting um, those dreams to show up. So one of the things she said in her master class was to keep like a notebook by your bedside because sometimes, you know, we all, we have dreams all through the night and usually you wake up and you don't remember anything. So she's like, sometimes dreams come at night and you got to get up, write it down or you will lose it. Um, and I, that's what happened to me. It, when it came to me, I got up immediately, wrote it down and I started working on it immediately. So it was, it was interesting how it came. Um, and I really don't remember that much from the dream other than seeing the pillows and wondering, <clears throat> excuse me, wondering why haven't I seen this before? Let me check to make sure that something like this isn't out there. And once I checked and I couldn't find anything, I was like, yeah, this is the one. And I started working on it immediately. Let me tell you something. We are on like the same wavelength today with that. Because that happens to me so often and wow. I don't have the notepad. I just put it in my notes app in my phone. Same thing. And when I tell you <laughs> I got like 5,000 notes up in that notes app of just like, and this goes back years. Like, D'Andrea, I'm talking back to like Blackberry era. Wow. And everybody had Blackberries. I yeah. had like notes from then. And yeah, I mean, you just, you, you know, you have to believe in yourself, but also you have to write those ideas down. Yeah. You know. When the Bible says, see the vision and make it plain, you got to see it first. Yes. And once you absolutely. see it, then nothing's stopping you from going to get it. Absolutely. Except you. <laughs> Except That's it. You. You, and, and you know, someone said to me a long time ago, I can't even remember who it was. It's like the people who say the best things, I forget who say them. <laughs> but, and they said, get out of your own way. Yeah. Get out of your own way. So that's something that I, I try to do every day is get out of my own way. Um, did you have a design background though? No, not at all. <laughs> not really? at all. I had to figure out everything. I, cause I couldn't find anything um, similar to kind okay. of. Um, Use as a prototype. Yeah, I couldn't find, so I couldn't even find anything where I could say, okay, what were their footsteps? What were their past steps to get to where they were? So I kind of used Sarah's um, masterclass. She had to go find a factory. She had to find a manufacturer. And I didn't know how to do those things, but I just researched and um, figured out each each step. Now... Take us inside your process. Once I had the idea, my immediate thought was, okay, all I need to find is a seamstress. They should be able to do this. Um, so I searched for seamstress. I reached out to a couple. And of course, this is a new idea. I'm like, I don't want anybody to steal my idea, especially somebody who has talent to make it. And I don't know what to do. So I was trying to keep it close to me. But at the same time, I had to kind of tell them, you know, what it was that I was trying to do so that they could have um, something to go off of. And um, finally, I was like, okay, I at least need to make the word. So I got some phone board, found the script that I wanted to use, um, bought the license for the script that I wanted, and then I was like, at least let me cut out the word in the way that it's supposed to look in the sizing that I want so that I can show this to a seamstress so they can have a visual um, for them to do it. So I went to a craft store, got what I needed, um, drew, cut it out, cut out the script. Um, and then I went looking for seamstress to see if they can make it. And one of the first seamstress I found, she was like, yeah, I can do it. So I got her. 
the supplies that I thought she needed, the um, filling, um, the fabric, pay her the money, and she disappeared. <laughs> she disappeared. Um, so I was like, okay. Um, and then after that, I, another seamstress, um, she came, looked at it, and she was like, um, this is not possible. If it was possible, it would be done already. And I was just like, okay. Wow. <laughs> so I reached out to several different seamstresses, and that was just the response that I was getting. So, so I was like, okay, well, this obviously is not the way that I'm supposed to be going about it. So then I tried to find some um, pillow manufacturing facilities mm -hmm. to see if they could help. Um, and whenever I reached out to to them, same thing. It's not something that we can do, but we would love to see it <laughs> if you can get right. it done. Um, so then I was just like, I didn't get discouraged, but I was like, what? How how how, how am I supposed to get this made? So finally, um, I went to a, I sent an email to a prototyping agency. And they emailed me back with this super expensive quote on how much they would cost to just draw up the plans, not even give you a physical product, but to just right. draw up the plans. And I was like, no, this is how much I want to spend for the entire thing. Not, um, but on that, uh, their quotation form, it said that he was a mechanical engineer. Okay. So that made, I was like, so that's what I need to be looking for. A mechanical engineer should be able to help me figure this out. So I um, went looking for a mechanical engineer. I searched sites like um, I use Upwork. If you've heard of Upwork, I used yes. Upwork, found a mechanical engineer, and he took on the project and um, got my prototype made. Wow. How long did all of that take? Like from the time you had that dream, mm -hmm. you know, and you wrote it down to the time you found him and he made that prototype for you. So I had the dream in September of 2019 okay. and then I started working on it and then the pandemic hit and I set it down. So the whole of 2020, I did nothing um, in regards to this, but I picked it back up. I had had my son in 2020 in September as well. Um, Congratulations. Thank oh, you. Man, he's about to be three. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting big. <laughs> he, he can watch this episode, okay? Yes. The other episodes, <laughs> you got to wait, you know, about 16 years for that. 15 years. <laughs> but he can watch the other. I mean, he can watch this. This this is good. Yes. He can watch this. <laughs> wow. Um, so actually, he was one of the reasons that sparked me to pick it back up because I was mm -hmm. getting ready to go back to work. Even though we were still working from home, I took an extended uh, maternity leave and I was getting back to go to work when he was uh four months and I was like I don't want to have to do this <laughs> I just don't want to have to you know do this I want to do something that I like and am, am expired inspired by so I picked it back up and that was so that was uh 2021 and by July of 2021 um yeah I picked it back up in January and by July of 2021 I had the prototype the prototype made so that's I don't know DeAndrea I'm not the math whiz I'm thinking <laughs> like how many so months? In total, it's about 18 months yeah right? yeah 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 wow. but if we cut out the year uh If we cut out 2020 where I did anything, it would be about nine months total. Right. From nine months. September. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You oh, gave birth yeah, and you gave that. birth. Look at that. It. Wow. Listen, wow. Listen, it, I'm telling you, it's all, it's, it's all in flow. It's all in flow. It's all in flow. Now, yeah. do you 3D print at all? I do not. That's okay. amazing. I would love to like, you know, test that out, but I don't. Yeah. Okay. I'm working okay. on figuring that out now because most of my customers are asking for custom pillows and I really want to yeah. do that within the next couple of months because okay. um, I have someone that was asking for a wedding and a um, 
a business anniversary. They want pillows. So I really want to get that going in the next few months. So I got to mm -hmm. figure now that's the process I'm on now trying to figure out how can we do it custom? How can I do it locally? Oh, yeah. And, and, and even are you thinking about getting a storefront? Are you thinking about doing that? Yes. Or like nice. a warehousing space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A showroom. Look, look at me. Listen, yeah. I'm. I don't know. I'm jumping ahead, but <laughs> but um, <laughs> but tell me, but tell me though, DeAndrea, what's your favorite part about the design process? Um, my favorite part is actually coming up with the idea, but really seeing seeing it um in its full manifestation because it's like I dreamed of this and now here it is. So seeing it right in front of you as a tangible item, like that's my favorite part. That, I think with just creatives in general, I think that's what it is. Because even with this, that's my favorite part. Like yeah. this right now, how this looks, is just me and you just talking on Zoom. But when it's all done, mm -hmm. I'm just like, wow, I did that. That's, that's, that's done. I did that. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It, I don't know. It's just, it's a really fulfilling feeling. I mean, it, it's the same with, and, and I, I guess with me, like I get excited over little things um, when I cook. And it comes out good, and it looks like the picture. <laughs> like, it, I mean, the simplest things. But yeah. I saw a post up. You had a post up recently on your IG where you were talking about how you had gotten your, your first return. And I want you to give the aspiring entrepreneur out there some encouraging words on dealing with something like that. Yeah, that was... It was crazy to me when I got the first request for a return. Um, it's because it's not like I knew I knew I was going to get a return eventually, but I right. didn't expect to feel hurt by it. <laughs> I'm like, why do I feel this way? That's crazy. Um, but then I just realized, you know, we as a creative, everything that you create is so close to your heart. You know, it's so close to you because it's it's your baby. You birthed that. Um, so you feel like that rejection or return is a reflection of you and that's not what it is. So I would say any, um, entrepreneur that's dealing with their first return that to really look at what it is, it's not a reflection of you. We return things all the time for various reasons of why we don't want it or it doesn't fit in our house the way we thought it would, but it's not a reflection of on you they 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 saw your product product and they thought they would like it or they thought that it would fit in their home but it didn't for whatever reason but that's no reflection on, on you the quality of work you do on who you are you are still your product and you are still valuable it's still worthy people still want it people still love it keep going people want to see it um and the only way they will see it is if you keep going tell us about your family yeah um uh, I have a husband. We've been we just celebrated our five year anniversary uh, last month. Um, no, this is March. This month, Lord. This Wait a month. minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are we are, are we forgetting already? Already. Look, oh, no. I'm getting old. <laughs> Listen, we all are. And numbers ain't my thing, so <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll blame it on that. I'll blame but it on listen, that. we but figured yeah. out that nine month thing though. So like, <laughs> you together, we like we like the Wonder Twins with that. We figured that out. Uh, my husband's name is Aaron. Shout out um, to Aaron. Yeah, we got married in 2018. Um, so we're just figuring out this family life dynamic, and um, I became a stay at home mom. Uh, 2021 right when at, right after I launched my business I lost my job um so we've been you know experiencing life trying to figure out me being a stay at home mom while trying to you know grow my business um and just figuring out life with the toddler <laughs> in general I couldn't do any of it if if not for him for sure like for him even saying, you know, you don't have to look for a job right now. Let's just see what happens with your business. I wouldn't have been able to do that without him. Absolutely. That's, and that's wonderful. And I mean, as a creator, we need that support. Yeah. And it's just absolutely Definitely. wonderful to have that support. I have that support. So, I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely wonderful. But I want you to talk 
It's a Black women movement. And I want you to tell Black women why entrepreneurship is so important. Um, I think for Black women especially, I think entrepreneurship is very important because you have your own say-so and control over your life. And I know with me um, being in corporate America and feeling, you know, undervalued, overlooked, even though you're doing the best work, underpaid, you know, they'll they'll hire someone, for, you know, hire a manager and you don't want to have to change to um, train them, you know. So they'll give <laughs> you're training your manager, but they don't want to promote you, give you that pay. You're So I feel like with me, entrepreneurship has given me that control over my life. It's not easy. It is very hard at times, but I feel like as long as I'm putting in the work every day and making some type of progress, God is going to step in. God gave me this vision. He's going to step in and take me where it needs to go. Cause it's not just about me. It's about the other people that it's going to touch as well. So I would say if God gives you a vision, especially for business or for um, entrepreneurship, go after it. He's going to pro provide every supplication you need in order to get you to where he needs you to go. And trust me, it's going to be beyond anything you've ever imagined for yourself. So don't be scared. And even if you are scared, move through it, keep going, do it anyway, because on the other side of fear, is that dream that God told you that you could have and it's better than anything that you're experiencing now. You know, we are on the same page with this because you answered the next question I was going to ask you. Wow. Without even, without me, that's what I'm like, this is meant to be. It's a natural because flow. I like it. It's a natural flow. It is because yeah. I was going to ask you, what would you tell someone similar to you who wants to quit their nine to five to pursue their dreams? And you already answered that. Yeah. I mean, and, and that was based on that post you had on IG um, about Target's Black History thing. Yeah. Um, I would point. say, especially when launching a business, if you can hold on to your job for as long as you can to help finance it, it so you won't be struggling in your mind. I think it's a mental, it's definitely a mental thing when you're thinking, because I was living off of my savings and seeing it dwindle down. Like that's a, <laughs> that's a mind thing. Like you're like, okay. Um, so you're not able to focus as much as you should be on growing your business when you have to worry about the finances aspect. So I would say, and if I was able to keep my job during this time, I would have um, just so that I wouldn't have to worry about, how am I paying my bills, you know? Um, but if you can swing it, go ahead and do it and go full forward into it. And it's going to work out for you because you're going to make it work. You don't have a choice. <laughs> you got to, it's, it, it's no plan B. This is the plan. So you have to do what you have to do to make it work. Every day you're doing something to push your business forward to get your name out there to build brand awareness every day and you will see the results of that labor you will absolutely and i don't know i just i want to take a moment i'm just curious what was that seamstress I'm just curious you, can't even, you know what i don't even remember i just remember blocking her mm -hmm. <laughs> I blocked her on That's everything, probably the best so I don't even remember her name. I can probably go into my emails and find uh, what her name was, but I blocked her on everything after that, and um, I yeah. have no idea, but I hope she see my pillows in Target and be like, wow, I wonder, I wonder, <laughs> was that her, you know? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, because I don't know, <laughs> you know, I, 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 this is the thing, here's the thing, Deandra. I'm a journalist. And, but I'm also, I'm also a hood dude. And I like to put people on blast. So I just, you know, I just wanted to know, you know, I'm like I say, I'm not gonna do anything, but I just, you know, um, I think the blast is the fact that she did what she did and you still persevered. Yeah. And now your pillows are everywhere. So I don't have to get my hands dirty today. <laughs>
know, you know, God gets the glory. He he knew that was Absolutely. supposed to happen. Absolutely. And Absolutely. you know, things like that come as a challenge to see are you gonna fold or, or are you gonna continue? Um, and I think once right. God saw that, no, this is not gonna deter me, um, then he just opened the doors. Cause yes. he did. If you if you um heard my story on how the Target partnership. I don't know. I don't want to jump too far. No, you can tell me. Okay. You can absolutely. Um, tell me. How, yeah. how the Target partnership happened. So I launched my business on December 3rd of 2021. Five days later, I received an email from a Target buyer saying they saw my pillows. Um, they loved it and they wanted to speak with me about using them in an upcoming project. Five days later, after lunching, mind you, I might have had 200 followers on Instagram. I had, I hadn't, I didn't have a TikTok. I had a Facebook, but I don't think I might have had mm, maybe a hundred people on my pillow script page. Um, but I didn't how they found me. How did they find me? I don't even know. I did have a Instagram um, shop set up as well as a Facebook shop. So maybe they found me that way. Um, but the fact that they, I launched <laughs> on the third and five days later, Target reached out to me was amazing. And the thing yes. about it, our first meeting was on December 10th. And that was the same day that I, uh, that was the last day of my job. So it's like, God was giving me confirmation that you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Just keep going. Just keep going. So that's my that's my motto. I'm going to keep going. Until God tell me to stop, I'm going to keep going because he's showing Listen. me. Yes. Yes. You're not going to make me cry on this episode. <laughs> I don't know what no. it is with you, with you Southern women making me cry <laughs> on my show. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But it's God. That's something I needed to hear because with this show, it's been the same thing because I didn't have I don't have a lot of followers and I would reach that out don't to people, mean nothing. people would you know be funny and I'm just like but well, why do I care because I know I'm talented I know I can do this I put all of this together why am I worried about such trivial stuff because we are always and that's that's where we have to get out of our own way and out of our own head we're so worried about what other people think and it doesn't matter what they think. What do we think? This is our dream. They have nothing to do with it. So why are we so why are we so worried about what someone else is what someone else thinks about our dream and they have no impact over it? They have none. Every person that's supposed to be aligned with you, God is going to align them with you. And you don't have to do anything but keep moving for him to do that. Nothing. You just have to keep walking the walk, keep doing what he's shown you you need to do. And he's going to make every supplication you need. He's going to every single thing. My Wi-Fi was acting up. And I was like, oh, man, I hope I don't have to cancel this. I said, because I really need to do this. Because <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, get these. these Grow your channel. Yeah. And I'm just like, man, let me go. Let me let me just go reset the router. So I went down into the basement. I reset the router. And then it still was acting up. And I just said a quick, quick prayer. I said, I said, Lord, just please show me the light and the, and the right and the way. That's like something I say all the time, the light and the right and the way. And everything started working. And then wow. I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh man, is, is she coming? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Nine, you showed up and I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> this is, this, all of this was meant to be, but I needed to hear what you just said. And, and you're so right. When you're in a, the people who you're in alignment with, you will be in alignment with, and, and you all will, will walk together, grow together, and you'll be shown who those people are. Yeah. And I, I totally needed to hear that. But where do you get your inspiration from for these pillows? Um, from life. I think life and experiences, I think, um, because I all my goal for these pillows, if, with, if you have them in your home or in your space, um, when you see them for them to give you joy, 
you know, so I always want the wording, the the collections that I make, I also always want the wordings to be, you know, positive, encouraging, joyful, because they are, they're so unique in their shape. They, when you look at them, they, they should make you happy. They should make you happy. And that's the feeling I want to give to my customers. Like, your home is your safe place, you know, it's the place that you should be your happiest at. So if these pillows, if you buy these pillows to bring into your space, they should help to increase and elevate that happiness. So I, I hope that's the feeling that my customers feel when they buy these pillows, because that's what I feel when I make them and when I see them. So that's, that's, that's where, where my inspiration comes from. And you know, that goes a long way. When you do things with love, people can tell. And it shows. Yeah. And other people feel that when they bring whatever it is that you've made into their home. Because everything carries a vibration. Yeah. And there's some things that, you know, we'll go out to stores or we'll order online and we'll buy and we'll be like, I just don't like the way this this feels. I don't like the yeah. way this looks in my house. I don't like well, we like the way it looks in our home, but we don't like the way it makes us feel. Mm-hmm. And that's a big thing. So the fact that you do it with love, that goes a long way. And I felt that when I saw them, I was like, these are cool. I like these. I got to find out who this is. And then I found out that (laughs) you you were a black woman. And I said, oh, my God, I definitely got to support. I got to buy these. I'm going to buy like five. And then, (laughs) like I told you, couldn't find them. them. And that's the thing, you know, because, you know, they went out of stock. And and I learned the hard way, y'all. You know, I I could have just got the pink one. (laughs) (laughs) Got the pink one. (laughs) <laughs> but when is when is everything going to be back in stock? So I'm working. Well, hopefully. Um, so for Target, that was just for the Black History Month collection. My goal is with it selling out in Target. Um, hopefully we'll get back on a call and they'll say um, we want these in the store permanently because they did so well. That's that's my hope. Um, waiting to hear from them to see. But th- that is my hope. I would really love to be in the store permanently and to create you know create uh quarterly collections for target that would be that's that's my goal i would love to see that too and you know even if it's not them i mean you know it may be somebody else who yeah wants that and and you know will help you grow that um because everybody i'm telling you guys y'all gotta get those pillows they not only are they because i i felt it It feels good, too. Like, not only is it pretty, but it's soft. It feels good. Like, it has a good feel to it, a good material. And Mm -hmm. that's important, you know, because it's something that you can use, you know, just for decoration. But you could also lay on it. Right. You want things to be functional, you know, not functional and aesthetic. Yes. You know, you really shouldn't have one without the other. And they're functional and aesthetic. And and that's what I liked about them. Um, But now, are you doing... Orders, though, are people still able to order from your site? Yes. So on my site, I have my original collection, which is the Love Collection, that is available now. I'm working on um, the new collection. So that'll be my um, big thing, rolling that out, because this will be my first collection since since launching my, you know, my newest collection since launching. So rolling that out. Um, I'm working, trying to get into more retail stores. So that's big on my list for this year. Um, and working on getting the customization option, um, running. So those are my three big things that I'm working on right now that God is going to align me with the right people to make it happen. So I know it's going to work out. I'm just doing what, doing what I need to do on my end to, to get that ball rolling. So that's what I'm working on right now. Awesome. Can you just give us a little hint on what this new collection that you're working on is? Just a hint. I won't tell you what the word is, but I think people will definitely love it. Um, I had been getting um, questions about neutral colors. You know, everyone loves the colors, but there are some people who just love neutral. So I will say this will be a neutral line with black, whites, black, whites, and tans. Um, it'll be a new texture. Um, 
I'm waiting for the sample to come in now. So uh, we're going to see <laughs> how the sample comes out. But I'm hoping it's everything that I imagine it to be. And if it is, you guys are going to love it. How can everyone order so, and, and get in touch with you? Mm -hmm. So my uh, website is www.pillowscript.com. Um, and on there, you have my love collection. Um, the love pillows come in coral, royal green, uh, light blue, and gray right now. Um, so right now, that's the only pillows that you can order from me. The ones from Target are sold out, but they they there may be some in the physical stores. You'll have to go to the physical stores to see. And um, also, how can I get in touch with you on our social media? Oh, social media, Pillow Script. Um, Instagram is Pillow Script. Facebook is Pillow Script FB for Facebook. Um, Instagram is, I mean, sorry, TikTok <laughs> is Pillow Script. All right. So that's Pillow Script on IG, uh, Pillow Script FB on Facebook, and www.pillowscript.com. If you do, decide to message DeAndrea, please be respectful in her DMs. I ask all of my guests that. Please <laughs> and thanks. Be be respectful. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see and I'm excited to tell everyone about it and I'm going to be supporting. I can't wait to see how God elevates you on this journey. Like, I can't wait to see it. I know it's going to be awesome. Thank you so much. Like, I just, because this is what I like doing. I like to talk to people. I enjoy it. And I like hearing you guys stories that's the main thing because i learned so much i had no idea before this morning that you could find you know that type of engineer to to do something like this i had no idea yeah i just thought it was all about either. 3d printing and, and sewing i didn't know so that's why i have people like you on because i want to show that you know like i have fun but i also want to be informative i want to bring people interesting stories from interesting people like you and I just, I, I like to learn too. For me, it's about learning also. So, you know, that that's the whole point because there's a whole lot of And it's good that you show, show people that it's different ways you can go about something to get, to get the result that you want. You know what I'm saying? You're showing, you're showing that you don't necessarily have to take the conventional route. You know, everything, everyone might not be able to, you know, but that doesn't mean you can't get to your dreams. So that's that's amazing when you show people's story, people start to see that there's people that's relatable to them and they can do the same thing. And God that's isn't a one trick pony. pony. So if he did it for me, he can do it for you, too. You know. Y'all heard what she said. Yeah. And that's real. So I, and that's yes. how I do on my um, I'm trying to share more about my journey because I want people to see that. I'm not gatekeeping nothing. If God did it for me, he'll do it for you. And I'm, I'm not scared of anybody taking <laughs> the vision he has for me because it's mine. You can't take it. So I can share my resources. I can tell you what grants I'm applying for. You can apply to because if, if it's meant for you, I'm not going to get it. You know, if it's meant for me, you're not going to get it. But we don't share a lot, you know, everybody having to start from ground zero and it shouldn't be that way. If we help each other, we can all grow and elevate faster. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. So. Exactly. Because everybody else does it and, and benefits and, and helps each other out. I mean, you know, this is what we have to do. I think we all have a duty to do that because there's so much to go around and yeah. That is the basis of a transformational, transformational relationship, you know, and that's what we should all be aspiring to have is yeah. transformational relationships with, with, with each other. I mean, everything doesn't have to be a transaction. Everything shouldn't yeah. be a quid pro quo. Look at your brother and your sister to your left and to your right. And I know great people. I know you now. You're a great person. So thank you for being on. And, you know, I, I wanted to get your story out to people. Thank you. You know, because people watch and people listen. And I wanted to, I wanted to learn also. But really quickly, 
before we wrap up, and I ask all my guests this, so I'm not putting you on the spot. If you had a time machine, what would you go back and tell yourself in the past? If I had a time machine, I would go back and tell myself that you don't have to rush the future. Um, it's going to come. You don't have to try to rush growing up. Adulthood is not what you think. <laughs> it's not what you think. Okay. It is not what you think. However, <laughs> don't, don't rush. Just know that God is going to work at everything out in his own timing. And you should just trust in his timing and not yours. We want so many things on our own timing, but it's not right for us. You know, we need to trust in God's timing and just keep walking forward. That's what I would tell myself. Don't rush. Don't rush. Just keep walking and let God do his thing. And everything's going to work out. You have such a bright outlook on life. I t- and y'all see what I did right there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You, you know I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't do this interview without my, my, my foolishness. But let everyone know once again how they can get in touch. Yes. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Pillow Script. You can find me on Facebook at Pillow Script FB. You can find me on TikTok at Pillow Script. And you can find my pillows. My love collection is available now on my, my website, www.pillowscript.com. Y'all better support this Black business. Yes. And y'all know, y'all remember every what I say every show. Y'all remember what I say every show. But thank you so much, DeAndrea, for coming on the Chris Davis Show, for coming through, come back again. I know you you, you got to come back when you drop, you know, the, the, the new collection. New collection. And yes. I want to thank all of you guys for watching and listening. If you know a phenomenal woman like DeAndrea who you'd like to see featured on an upcoming episode of the Chris Davis Show, let us know. Just visit chrisdavidshow.com or slide into my DMs and send me a message. I do respond. Also, if you know an entrepreneur or creative who's making a difference in our community and you'd like to see them featured on our Dollar in a Dream series, get at us. Tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your daddy, tell your baby daddy, <laughs> tell your boyfriend, tell your sister, tell your cat, tell your dog, tell your doctor. Tell everybody who helped DeAndrea get her dream into fruition to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris David TV and follow our show at The Chris David Show on Instagram and YouTube. You can also visit chrisdavidshow.com where you'll find everything you need to know about the show. That's Chris with the C, no H. David Light, number 23, David Justice. If you've got a dollar in the dream, go for it and be well. You gotta tell me about the music stuff that you would do. Because I think yeah. that's so dope. So, so what? You gotta tell me about that. So I went to school for journalism as well. <laughs> I went to school for journalism and um, when I was in school I I used to write poems um, and somehow during my first year in college at Morris Brown I was like I started turning those poems into music and it started going to studios and I'm like I like this like, 